Okay, boy. One thing I, one thing I forgot about, boys, is uh, you know, if I'm gonna be wearing this big old straw hat this whole time, I ain't gonna be able to wear my headband. So I should have brought the armband for recording. But uh, we got quite a few vets here now. Some still starting to show up. Mine's way over there with the hood up. So we're just gonna do a little field walk, see of what we got so far. It's noon. So all the hungover vet guys should have been up by now. But let's just see what we got. the Grand Sports Boys from 96. C4s have always been my favorite bet. I'll have to have me C4ZR1. But well, I would also take your Grand Sport. Like those little wheel arches. And I would also take that big, huge, mean one that was in the uh, museum. With the... With the five looking fixed roof coupe and a big ass 454. Very good. It's like mine. So if you have the stock air intake, I got the ram air intake. My hood's up, so you have to see when we walk over to it. speed so it does have the LT4 in it. Preferential parking this year because canceled it in 20, and that was supposed to be here in C8. And I'm pretty sure when I came in, there's a big old row of them way over there in the front, but we'll see when we get over there. Got a little replica of his car on the engine. Tight.
inch wide in the stock. Just the way, it's the opposite, slightly off of the factory, just to give it a little bit of a keep look. Nice. After I, after I bought mine, I was like, <laughs> I also have one of those on for the show when you wave at the little children's and the motorists, although Katie forgot to bring it. I also have the Mickey Mouse gloves. Again, forgot to bring them. Do every year. Bought them specifically for the road tour. Never remember to bring them. Chubby Corvette Club, huh? Alright. Don't know nothing about the Chubby Corvette Club. way out in the middle of nowhere. There's a bunch of C8s up here. They're all right up here at the front. side of the building, the other side of the fun dome. Cars for sale, huh? We'll hit those up in a minute. I might do my own video on the cars for sale. I know Tanya after she drove and rode in mine, was thinking about, oh, those are pretty sweet. Maybe I'll get me one. Well, they're always for sale up here, so we'll go peep them out in a, we'll go peep them out in a little bit. See if there's anything good for sale. That idea. Keep the sun from getting in your beast.
six. I like how we did that on the plate too. So ninety foot six. Very clean car. And by the time we get over to mine over there with the hood up, should be ready for another beer. At least that's the game plan anyway. killer club all right so on, on the cars for sale that 84 looking one man that might it might be an 84 for sale oh boys i've always wanted to have my 84 back might not be an 84 though might be oh boys you don't want to see the backs of these cars do you well maybe this one i saw this one last night too i saw him out driving around when i was out to go into the TGI Fridays for dinner. Past him on the main drag in Effingham. I remember it. Because the modern day vet, the C6, that kind of resembles the old school one with its white and red tea coat. So I saw him the last night. I see him at the shows occasionally too, every year, and also in Bloomington, or at least one that looks like it. Can't imagine there's too many cars that are decked out like that. So it might be the same guy I see all the time. that the that, uh, C6 was imitating. With the two-tone. This is a small show. I mean, years past. I'm talking the whole other side of that bundle field was up. Filled up. And this side too. This is where all like the exclusive club, like the the gold or platinum members or whatever people that paid a shitload of money for the parking. Usually the old people don't like to walk that far. They all parked on this side, and then all us normies parked on the other side. And then if you had no Corvette, you parked from way out in the middle of nowhere. This is a. This is, I almost wonder if this could be Carter's old car. He he had two 2003. 50th anniversary Z06s. That uh, might be his. Don't know. Antenna's taken off of it. And his had a little plate under there. This one's got the plate. It's got course on it. Well, I don't know. That might be his. It's hard to say. They all kind of look alike. A lot of people put those plates on them. Doubt he even remembers. And at first I thought you were some stranger following me. I didn't know who you were. <laughs> they have some... We want to see... I want to see these cars over here still. That, that gold one over there might be an 84. Mm -hmm. 
it. All the for sale cars are right here, so we're going to peep those out in the middle. But that's going to be its own video, I think. Unless I should just tack it on to the end of this. Oh, is this stopping to see? Oh, well, I was going to go refill mine. In fact, I should walk back over there and do it. Okay, boys, we're going to cut this video here, I think, maybe. Unless I decide to include those for sale cars. But we're going to check out that gold one in a lot of detail.